I was a uh, GP in England, general practitioner in a small town for 35 years, and uh, I've been writing my own personal comments on medical journals and on other subjects in the last two decades, and since I retired, I've been working part-time for Cochrane UK. Showing your spine would, would have that sort of dual meaning, you know, because the spine is, is a much uh, over-operated on part of the body, uh, and it's not perfectly designed for its function, which is why it, it, it does go wrong. But we have to make people aware that, you know, that more is not always better in that respect. There are so many different disease definitions which we use in practice which just do not fit very well with clinical life. And uh, the, the classic one is diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which I've written about, uh, where we've got a, a continuous variable of one thing in the blood, which is the glucose level, and on that we pin a definition, provided it goes past a certain point, you've got the disease, if it's below that, you haven't. And then after that, one approach fits all. And the most common approach is to get the sugar down, which actually doesn't address the main problem, which is the risk of cardiovascular disease and other vascular types of disease, which are carried by people whose sugar levels get steadily higher. But it's a continuum. It's not a, a single cutoff point. Well, it's because increasingly doctors have been driven to meet targets according to these disease definitions. And this is right across the board. It's, it applies to heart failure, to high blood pressure, to diabetes, even to uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, uh, and increasingly to risk factors rather than actual diseases. I think the ultimate answer is to share with the patient the uncertainties of the labels that we give them and the treatments that derive from those labels. And perhaps just relabel things uh, gradually. It's very, very hard to do that through official channels because there are whole industries built up on these labels. But we have to challenge them. And I think in order to challenge them successfully, we have to get the actual people involved on our side instead of doing as they're told to realize what the options are and choose the ones that they want to do. Getting them to short show more spine, I think we don't want them to be made to feel that they're cowardly or that they have to be involved in decisions about their own care. We have to make it clear to them that we welcome them showing spine in asserting their right to be involved in decisions about their care.